Hello and welcome to our latest video. In our Sustainability Perspective series, complementing the Sustainability Awards and the Sustainable Packaging Summit, we're sharing interviews with thought leaders from across the packaging value chain. Today, we'll be hearing from Vertis, a specialist in the production of mono and multi-layer semi-rigid barrier films for food packaging and other packaging applications. So I'm pleased to welcome Marta Matos Gil, who is Head of Marketing and Sustainability at Avetis, as well as Rui Silva, the company's Chief Product Officer. They will share their insights on the circularity of PET trays with us, as well as the steps the company is taking to promote a circular economy. So, um, yeah, to start off with, Marta, the um, incorporation of recycled content in PET packaging is one of the most important issues in the market today, really. So, Avetis um, has been doing this for a long time, and uh, yeah, could you tell us a bit more about how you started and where you're at today? Hi, good morning, Elizabeth. Thank you. Um, well, to give you a little history and put our sustainability goals into context, context um, we started up our recycling unit back in 2003. Back then, we were the first and only PT recycling plant in Portugal. And then um, we were recycling over 90% 90 per 90 of the post-consumer PT collected in our home country. We are still currently the top recycler um, and we are currently recycling over 50% of what's recovered nationally. The decision to start up a, a PT recycling unit was in big part to, set, to serve an environmental purpose and create a circular economy for PT packaging. But it was also to serve our businesses need um, for PT recycled content. Um, as you mentioned, we are a PT based film producer for food packaging applications. And we wanted to make our products more sustainable. So we started introducing um, recycled PT into our film production, as we wanted to give our customers um, the option to offer a more environmentally friendly product also to their customers, which are the end users of our product. So we really did start doing this uh, way before there were, were any directives or targets in place as they are nowadays. Um, I'd also like to point out that um, what's interesting about Avertis is that we have our recycling unit and film production in at the same industrial site. So this um, vertical integration leads to further, further reduction in carbon emissions as we have no, let's say, um, carbon emissions in the transportation for the, that supply of recycled content. Additionally, I'd like to point out that um, we have no, no operational waste as we are able to reincorporate 100% of our internal scrap. And we do that in other um, family products, um, such as colored films. Um, and then lastly, I also um, wanted to mention that um, you may know that PET is the only um, plastic that has EFSA food approval, food contact approval. And um, we have within our process uh, an ARIMA reactor, which allows for up to 100% of recycled content, content to be included in our films with this um, EFSA food contact approval. Thank you. Yeah, sounds sounds great. Sounds like you're a real pioneer and have um, have everything set up uh, very well there. Um, so yeah, I was also wondering, Roy, um, what does eco design mean to Avertis, and what innovations have you recently developed with this in mind? Hello, good morning to all. Eco design means to Avertis the production and development of products that allow all legislation and regulation in food contact industry protect and assure the properties of the final product to pack and after, after the usage can be recycled and incorporated again for new materials. It means circular economy for Evertis. We use raw materials and production process that allow the delamination separation of the multi-layer material at recycling process and reincorporation again to our products. Evertis as a member of IMG group with best Pet specialties production have also the possibility to make developments at resins with better properties and improve the behavior of our films when compared with standard solutions. We are placing at market together with some of our customers with specific products for certain applications, a special film that could substitute a standard multi-layer material like PET-PE 
to a PET mono material. We call it EcoSeal and it's a PET film with improved sealing capabilities and it uh, it's, uh, can be sealed with, uh, against universal sealing, leaving films and fully recyclable in PET stream. In colors, we make also a new development and we launch the IR Black. The standard black that uh, everybody use in the market and in the packaging is made with the carbon black that is not detectable in recycling sorting equipments. So in some European countries, they are taxing more these type of products that can be detected and recycled in the, in the units. Together with our suppliers, we made the development of the IR black without carbon black that allows the detection and recycling uh, and separation from other materials uh, in, the, in the recycling units. So that is the main developments and the, the main products that we are putting on the market as a eco design and products that can be recyclable. Great, for, thank you for, for sharing that information. And um, yeah, I was wondering, we heard about the partnership you have for the recycling of uh, multi-layer trays. Could you tell us a bit more about how that works? Yeah, since 2013, we work in partnership with a Spanish company that made the development in the lamination and separation of multi-layer structures of PET rigid films. They have the industrial technology and knowledge to make the separation of materials produced with water-based lamination technology, like we have at Ivertish, thermal lamination or co-extrusion process. After the process of separation, they wash and sort the materials in a way that we can reincorporate again in our process and at our films. Since 2019, we have the certification EcoSense together with them and other film producers, com customers, converters, retailers, to promote the circular economy for the trade industry and close the loop of all the chain. We work together with all the stakeholders to promote the retrade and with the entities that manage the waste in European countries to create the stream for PET mono or multi-layer trays because it's a material that can be reincorporated in the same product and is being lost in some countries for mixed plex plastics incineration and in worst case for landfill. We estimate that there is in Europe about 1 million tons of trays placed at market that can be in part collected for recycle and reincorporate again in newer trays. Thank Great, you. yeah, it sounds like um, there's a lot of um, lots of potential there and a lot of um, trays that can still um, still be recycled. So that sounds, sounds great. And uh, yeah, my final question was, uh, Marta, in what other ways is Ivertis participating in promoting a circular economy? Um, well, in the last years, we have increasingly focused on collaboration within our industry, as we believe that it's really key to come together with other stakeholders and work on a set of aligned targets and goals. Um, Avertizi is a signatory member of several pacts and alliances, such as the Circular Plastics Alliance and other, sorry, the European Plastics Pact, and also other pacts of the Ellen MacArthur Foundation, such as the US Plastics Pact and the Portuguese Plastics Pact. Um, also, we, we are a member of associations such as PECCOR Europe, NAPCOR, and the Association of Plastics Recyclers. And um, through these associations, we also participate in several different working groups where we can also share our knowledge and expertise um, to develop together um, solutions for a circular economy. Um, we're actually dedicating a substantial amount of resources in terms of time towards participation in these pacts and associations, because we truly believe that there is a need for this cross-section collaboration um, to identify what needs to be changed and what should be changed. And we also think it's important um, this sharing of best practices on design for recycling and innovation towards uh, circular economy. It's really, we really believe that it's important that to move away from fragmented actions and come together um, with common actions because a common direction is obviously a lot more um, powerful. Now that these targets have been set with all these different um, national and sometimes geographical pacts, we need to get to action. And as I heard say um, this week, um, we had on Wednesday the annual 
European Plastic Pact meeting. It was um, just one year. It was a meeting after one year since it started. Um, I heard someone say it's time to turn pact to pacts to acts. So it's true what we've reached the moment where we've um, set some targets. Um, but now it's the time to collectively put together our expertise and see how we can put to action these plans and scale up um, these solutions. Um, finally, I would like to point out that there, there's a need to step up collaboration between governments, um, legal entities and the industry, because these targets are really challenging. And if we are to meet them, we really need all the stakeholders involved and um, the support to um, and the government um, support um, in the industry with investments on um, collection and separation to match the demand for recycled content, because that's a little bit where um, we, we're falling short. But in all, um, we really think that the industry is making a huge collective effort and um, we're really happy to be part of it. Mm, thank you. Yeah, I agree. Um, collaboration is definitely key and, and investment. And it's great to see um, the industry coming together and, and working together. And uh, we'll be watching this space here as well and, and see where it all leads. And uh, yeah, hopefully it will um, improve the, the, the whole problem a lot. <laughs> So yeah, um, great. That uh, brings us to the end of today's video. Um, thank you so much, um, Marta and Rui, for joining me today and for sharing your insights. Thank you, Elizabeth. Thank you, thank you very much. It was a pleasure. Bye. <laughs> thank you. Um, so yeah, please subscribe to Packaging Europe or follow us on LinkedIn, Twitter, if you or Twitter if you'd like to keep up to date with upcoming discussion panels, interviews, or commentary. Thank you very much. Right.